I have never been gay, so I don't understand the in-depth aspect of it, but just speculating. Um, I saw in LA Times where they were saying that increasingly young gay men are becoming um, a significant fixture in the downtown homeless scene. And um, I'm just trying to figure it out. I think what's happening is this. <coughs> God sees people the way he created them. So that uh, a man saying now he's a girl, or a woman saying she's a man, and they're going to have a problem because God still relates to them as they are supposed to be. Now, on the other hand, the enemy, Satan, might work with them, but just to destroy you, okay? I think that a man gets male inspiration. Do this, do that, do the next, do the other. A female gets female inspiration as to do this, do that, do that. So that if a couple, a man and a woman, are married, then God is going to inspire the man what to do to make that woman feel fulfilled. And she's going to do things that will make that guy fulfilled. Now, if two men come together, um, God might not be there. So, it's the enemy now. The enemy is trying to tell a man how to make a man happy. And a man how to make the next man happy. And, and that's kind of difficult. Now, there was a psychologist on CNN earlier, and she says that um, there's a double standard. We tend to beat up gay men, but lesbian women, they get a pass. Well, hey, women are the ones that, you know, the sex happens with, right? And the man does the sex, the woman is the one that receives, more or less. So that when two women get in it and they're giving each other, then they're doing just what they ought to be doing, except that they're using an artificial thing, which my understanding from a lot of guys is that you meet a woman who has never had kids, but she has been experimenting with this um, dildo or whatever they call it. Her vagina gets, you know, um, roomy. In fact, the guy the other day brought, um, we recycled and he brought some big, um, you know, artificial penis. And he said, man, the lady said it's going to work again. So she has to go and get a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one. So that that is what may happen. Now, on the other hand, I've asked myself, or I've tried to look at it and say, what if I were to become gay? Well, it's going to be a problem because I can't give a man my arse because it's not mine, see, it's God's. And I have to ask God, God, can I give this man my butt? And he's going to say no. Okay? So that, um, moreover, when you start doing the butt, you become something. And your butt changes, never comes back as before. So that it seems to be a difficult situation here. But if you go and you steal something, if you return it, or you go to jail or whatever, or you ask, you know, forgiveness, it's done. Um, you kill somebody, um, you get manslaughter charge, you spend your time in jail, or you confess to God, it's over. But when you become something, which you cannot necessarily reverse completely, then it's a problem. So that, um, I, I mean, I recall when I was in Trinidad at college, way back in the 70s, this guy, he was a vendor, but he had lived in London. He said, that you know what they do? A guy would say, hey, um, you don't mind getting some feces on your dick? And the fella said, you don't mind feeling some pain in your butt? And I'd say, no, no. Well, that's, that's all they need to do to get into some, um, you know, the um, action. But... I, I, I can't go that way because I'm saying that I can't, you know, let you give me pain in my arse because it's not my arse, it's God's arse. See, I just, I'm here to use it to get rid of that waste from my body. Now, um, can I give my penis to a man in his butt? I mean, what, what fun is going to be? What would be the purpose? I mean, sex is something a lot different than people are putting it on to be. I mean, the woman, her hair is long, her voice is different, her saliva is different because of the estrogen chemistry. Um, you know, her, everything is just so different. Her skin is soft, and it makes for fulfillment. 
I was thinking about this song the time Mike Jagger wrote and sang, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. I talk with capitalism and um, sex. <coughs> but I don't know if you were singing from a subconscious way in which he's trying to be satisfied, but, you know, male sex could never satisfy you. Lesbian sex could never satisfy you. You need the opposite for a variety of reasons. And then, you see, God ordained sex. And he is there blessing and inspiring. I mean, I'm not talking about getting the kinky stuff. You 